hang out with Timmy Otupoya, who's yeah. also known as uh, Timmy O, and he's a Nigerian-born uh, Afrobeat singer. He's stationed now here in South Africa. He actually debuted in uh, 2019 with his hit track titled OG from his Phoenix EP. And in 2021, I saw some of his videos on Trace Africa Top 10. Uh, so thank you for joining us, man. It's good to see you and meet you finally, man. Hey, yo, and thank you so much for having me. Always a pleasure to be here in the studio with you guys. I think you're doing a great job for the development of African music. So thank you for having me. Oh, fantastic, so man. Much. So tell us a little bit about uh, Timmy. Uh, where do you come from? You were born in Nigeria. Now you're living in South Africa. Tell us a little bit about your backdrop, your background, how you actually um, started living in South Africa and how you got into the music thing, man. Love it. So basically, make I give them introduction. Say, do you know me? All you want me to tell you my story in nomination. Oh, don't you tell me? I'm on the one keep pressing like I'm talking. We stay living like oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, no, as, as an well. introduction, you know, um, yeah. Um, yeah, Timmy Otukoya, uh, originally Nigerian, you know, born in the 90s. I, I wouldn't give up my age. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very young, but, but, yeah. worry, a very young guy you born in the young. 90s into an artistic family. My father actually does music. Okay, yeah, nice. So I was actually born into a musical home. I started music at the age of three years old. Um, and then, you know, as life goes, you, you want to pursue some other career from school and, you know, going into like filmmaking and media from school. Um, that was the focus as I grew older. But at some point, the music found its way back into my heart and mm -hmm. You know, I had to follow passion. In 2019, I made my um, official professional debut. Uh, before then, I had migrated to South Africa. I migrated to South Africa in 2012. Mm -hmm. And I migrated on the basis of studies as well, because I came here to do, you know, journalism and media studies. Oh, cool. in the, yeah, in the South African Academy of Applied Competence in Pretoria. Um, but yeah, music came back. 2019, I had to professionally debut myself out there and release uh, my very first um, EP to the people. And so 2019, you were doing something, you know, different, of course, still in the media space. You know, when did that decision come about? Like, hey, I have to go back to the music and I have these great ideas. I'm going into studio. It's a fantastic question. I was doing, you know, freestyles, covers, social media content right. from, from the house. And this was during COVID, right? 2020. Oh, yeah. We all had no choice than to True. become content creators, <laughs> right? That's so, true. yeah, so I was I was in the house doing freestyles, posting on Instagram, yeah. you know, and I would, I would, like, you know, make videos of myself singing, post it on social media. It would go kind of viral because as an average person, when you get, like, 20,000 views on a video you post, oh, yeah. you know, you kind of want to feel that there is an opportunity here. And True. then my friends and, and people around me started telling me, Timmy, this is your thing. You've got to enter the studio. You've got to. And I, I had, um, you know, a guy there who gave me a studio for free and said, Timmy, come over. Let's record some projects. And we did my very first official EP. Nice. So it wasn't something pre planned before 2020, uh, 2019. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, from COVID, all of that stuff, I think it, it changed, you know, uh, uh, the focus. Were you entirely. singing before this, or is it something that you discovered? How did people know that you could actually rap and sing? How did you actually formulate this gift? Because you are very, very talented team. Yes, yes. So um, I think, again, being coming from an artistic artistic family, my father being a musician himself, music has always been a thing for me. So you used I grew to sing as a kid? The, or? Exactly. I yeah. grew up in the morning listening to the likes of, you know, Bob Marley, Evi Edna Ogoli, uh, Fela Kuti, mm -hmm. you know, th those days as, as, as a kid. And, you mm -hmm. know, when you grow up with that environment, with my father singing to my ears every single day, there was the chance that someday the music was going to find its way back and you know from just doing those freestyles on social media people people had to push me out there you know mm -hmm. and with this particular ep uh phoenix ep uh you released this track og and it just uh, took um the social media space by storm but also it was very big on trays yes were you surprised by that I was, I was, and I was saying to my manager on my way here, I was saying to him, as an upcoming artist, to release a song, to release a video, and find yourself on TV for eight consecutive months mm -hmm. without actually paying a cent, wow. is nothing short of amazing. I was very shocked, you know, yeah. we did the video, in, we shot the video in Cape Town, gave it to some TV stations, Trey started playing the video, and we saw it just, sure. you know, you know, going on air from time to time, and mm -hmm. at some point it was, it was featured on the top ten, um, African music of the year, and that went on for like eight months. 
Oh, wow, fantastic. Wow. Well, we're going to take a bit of a breather and then we'll come back and chat a little bit more. want to hear your music because we've got a couple of songs. I mean, it is New Year's Day, so we're going to party a little bit in you studio know? with you, Timmy. That's why we brought you in so we can have a, a New Year's Day party. But hey, man, we hang out with Timmy O and he's joining us in our studio to chat a little bit about his career, where he's going and also how his journey has been in the music industry. Do stay with us. This is Channel Africa and you're listening to us on DSTV Channel 8 to open view 628 and don't forget that you can find us on our website internationally www.channelafrica.co.za we're hanging out with timmy o nigerian born afro beat singer he's based here in south africa now and of course we're going to be having a new year's party with timmy o we're finding out a little bit about his life his music and of course he's helping us celebrate the first day of 2024 you know speaking about celebration let's play this one by timmy o you and me benjamin it's just you and me and i think that came from um, a place of love, it came from a place of reflection, it came from a place of honesty to say, you know what, it's just you and me, girl. Mm. Whatever happens in my lowest, in my highest, it's just going to be you and me. Yeah, I mean, I love the flavor and the vibe in your music. It's very contemporary and, it's, and you're able to kind of tap into it very easily because it's very accessible and it's what's happening now. I hear so many familiar influences that are making it internationally. And mm. I'm wondering now, mm. who are your main influences? It's a great question. Um, every African artist that is doing us proud right now <laughs> is an influence for me, man. Honestly, so speaking, boy, honestly speaking, you, you look at what African music is doing globally right now. Sure. There's not a better time to be someone who showcases his or her talents than now. Mm. I was at the Spotify events the other day and I saw Aries. I saw all these guys that are making us proud. And, you know, um, again, it's all African music musicians that are doing us proud right now. But... I do have my faves, you know, Bonne Boy, <laughs> Bonne Boy, Two Face, um, Whiskey, definitely, definitely are my faves at the moment. Yeah, and in terms of your writing style, how do you go about coming up with inspiration? Is it live or is it more about how you feel or also maybe stories that you hear from others or is it a mix of all of that? It is a mix of all of that. I always say that as a musician, you are also a storyteller. Mm, um, you're cool. almost like a filmmaker, you know. You sometimes you can sit and think from another person's perspective. Yeah. And a lot of times it's you know it's me doing that, and also sometimes it's just my original story. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. And then let's talk a little bit about you know your connections to Nigeria because recently you went back home, which was pretty cool. Um, you went to Nigeria, yeah. did a little bit of PR work yeah. there. How was that experience there? Did you feel connected to Nigeria? Are you getting a lot of support at home? Yes. And are you also getting support here in South Africa? Definitely, definitely. You look at South Africa and Nigeria, and, and those are the two major hubs for, you know, for music in Africa. Yeah. And one thing I do not want to do is lose connection with both sides, you know. Mm -hmm. or, uh, so so, so I, always try, I always try to go to Nigeria, connect with the people, connect with the fans. Um, connect with the media houses, but also while I'm here, I don't just sit here and just live here, you know, mm -hmm. I, I try to move around, connect with my people, I've done a lot of stuff with, you know, local South African producers and DJs, um, and, and, and yeah, just making sure that I'm keeping my, my eyes and, and, and influence on both sides. Yeah. How is that? I mean, being a Nigerian who, who has a connection to two nations, you young, you're still pursuing your career, is it difficult? Does it have challenges? dealing with those two worlds in one and how are you navigating some of those challenges? I mean, tell us a little bit about how it is to, to be a Nigerian living in South Africa, being young as you are, pursuing your career. Because I'm sure if you, in, back in Nigeria, your story would have been completely different. The way you do things would be completely different. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about some of the challenges you face in South Africa, but also some of the victories you, you also have seen uh, yourself achieving. Yes, I think everything for me is a positive. Um, either the good or the bad, I just find myself as someone who is always grateful for being opportune to even experience life from a South African perspective, sure. yeah. being a Nigerian. So I, I, never, I never really try to focus on the negatives. Mm -hmm. Either I was here in, in, in South Africa or in Nigeria, I would still be facing challenges, you know, sure. as a normal human being. But yeah. um, I focus on the positives. I try to do what I can 
Um, I try to, you know, not go against the law as much as I can. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know, so you live good, you live well, you do what That's you gotta do, yeah. and, and you focus on on just your craft. You focus on on what you've got to give to the people, and, and you focus on on being grateful yeah. every day. Well, it's a brand new year, Tamio. What do you have in store for us for twenty twenty four in terms of the music? Are there new projects that you're working on? You know, what are we, what can we anticipate from you this year? I'm current. Actually, I just came back from. Pumalanga. I'm okay. working on a collab EP with a guy called Ngwana on it. There's oh, one nice. guy to look out for, South African DJ and producer. Oh, cool. um, and we are working on a collab Ama Piano EP. Oh, and, oh, you know, oh, that's nice. going to be the first one yeah. this year. Obviously, the singles will, will, will definitely um, be released from time to time, but that's the big one. And then from there, you know, we're looking at a couple of tours outside South Africa as well. Mm. Um, and, and yeah, so we're looking at an EP, we're looking at a couple of releases and tours. Well, let's play more music, man. I mean, we're here to party. We're here to celebrate a brand new year with Timmy O. And I heard that, you know, on his social media, people have been requesting yes. that we play the song. It's called Odinaka, Odinaka. by <laughs> Timmy O. So let's hear it. Hey man, Such a cool song. hey, we're putting everything in God's hands. That one is titled Odinaka, opening 2024 right here on Channel Africa. It's New Year's Day and we're celebrating it with a young musician stationed right here in Johannesburg, South Africa, all the way from the beautiful Nigeria. We're going all Pan-African today with the Timmy. He's joining us in the SABC studios. We're chatting about his wonderful, vibrant music. It's very colorful, Timmy. I love, love that one. Timmy, so what are your plans? What do you want to do now? I mean, you had that success uh, with uh, the EP Phoenix, yeah. and uh, you had the wonderful song OG. Yeah. Where do you want to take things now? You're working on that particular new kind of uh, my piano influence, but yes. what are your dreams really? Where do you want to take this music thing? It's a great question. Um, for music, you know, they always say you just got to do your best and, and see where it, it, it gets. Um, for me, I just want to keep it consistent. Mm -hmm. I always believe that if you've got just all, just five fans that that needs to be listening to you from time to time, you gotta keep feeding them. Mm -hmm. You know, if they love what you do, you gotta keep yeah. feeding them. So, for I don't know what what is the accurate number of fans that I have right mm -hmm. now, but for those who still love Timmy Otukoya, what I can promise you is consistency, consistency of good music, consistency of great mm -hmm. visuals, mm -hmm. consistency of me touring the world, telling you my stories in music, and 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 I think that is the is the bigger vision, is the long term vision from here. I don't know what tomorrow holds. Mm -hmm. I know what the plans are for this year. That collab EP with Unguana, um, the tour, the videos, the release, the singles, the, those are the plans for 2024. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're a 90s beyond... baby, man. You're a 90s <laughs> baby, and you know, you were saying, I don't want to reveal my age, but I think it's pretty cool what you're doing at such a young age. Thank Tell you. me a little bit about the process of your videos as well. I know that you work very professionally. You want to actually get your content out there through your Instagram. Yeah. Do, who's responsible for your videos? Because those are pretty cool as well, and they feel very like natural and easygoing. Yeah, I was saying the other day that as and I'm, I'm not trying to market now, but as a content creator, someone who likes to make content, if you do not have an iPhone, my brother and sister, oh. you must just... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not trying to shake to that guys. Am I getting jabs on the first day of the year? <laughs> But my sister and brother, this oh, is the time to have an goodness. iPhone. It's the way to go when it comes to content creation. Oh, yeah. um, you know, those reels, those, you know, social media posts. Yeah. Definitely, I do it on my phone. And then when we take it professionally for television content, we've got a couple of media production houses. Shout out to Marshall Media Production. Shout, production shout out to Night Jersey Productions. Those are the guys that I use both here in Jobek and Cape Town to shoot my great content. Oh, fantastic. TV. Well, yeah. Tim, it's been so cool hanging out with you. Um, thanks for coming into our studios and chatting with us and sharing this wonderful music. I think we have one more song that we can outro with. What do we have next there, Bali? Well, we have another one called 33 Days Ooh. 2. <laughs> what, what's this one about? It's 33 Days, actually. 33 yeah. Days. Yeah, oh, yeah. 33 Days. Yeah. Okay. okay, tell us a little bit about it. 33 days, I've been on my Ozu and I cannot be available as a man. If you want, to... <laughs> you either want a lover boy or you want an Ozula that provides. You gotta choose, you know. So I've been why on my can't Ozu. We have both? It's not easy, my sister. How are you at home and you are still making money? So I've been on the journey. 
trying to make money and you gotta understand as a woman that's what 35 days is all about all right, all right. nice one man let's hear this tune 33 well, days let's say goodbye to timmy before this and tell us a little bit where people can find you your instagram your social media mm. thank you so much timmy otukoya on all platforms be it twitter instagram everywhere timmy otukoya just follow and then you you are definitely going to uh, uh get updated on on what's next from here thank you so much everyone thank i wish you. you a great and successful 2024 thank you guys for having uh, me thank you. um thank you so much for what you do for the culture here in africa um i, I don't think for me personally it's, it's taken for granted thank you very very much thank, thank you so you. much timmy have an amazing 2024 you let's too. play this one 33 days <laughs>